What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Spanko and today I'm excited because we are bringing you guys more post ban list content. Now in today's video, I'm going to be showing off Scrap Dino. Now I posted branded Dino not too long ago and a lot of people were like, oh my god, we lost Verte. Yes, it's true. But low key, this deck is now super crazy because post ban list, we got some crazy cards back like Jet Synchron, which absolutely destroyed this deck. But if you guys do enjoy these videos, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more Yu-Gi-Oh content, especially post bandless content for the rest of the week is going to be post bandless deck profiles and or combo videos to show you guys how to play and compete in today's meta game post the may 2022 bandless so i don't want to keep you guys waiting for too long so let's get right into the profile okay so one thing i want to say just before we get into this video is that if you guys want to see the combos there's going to be a ton of combos showed off in tomorrow's video so make sure you guys are subscribed make sure you guys stay tuned because in tomorrow's video we're gonna go through a bunch of different combos how to play this deck and there's just so many of them that's why this deck is just so so powerful right now all right so we're gonna start off with triple soul eating oviraptor of course the dino lineup doesn't really change too much we're playing three baby two arco giant rex misc and two conductor so of course we're not playing the quad list we're also if you guys notice not playing a petite pteranodon because this is a going first combo build and because of that you lose the functionality of petite sometimes that is able to summon something like a pancratops and whatnot so because of that reason we are gonna get rid of the petite we're not gonna be playing the petite even though i know petite still goes into other combos it's actually just more of a brick now so that's why we're just playing the three baby but these are the dino and I think this is all you need for the dino monsters and then for the dino spells we're of course playing double double evolution pill as well as triple fossil dig I'm not going to change up this lineup I think this lineup for this deck is perfect again the petite is good don't get me wrong but this is all you need to combo keep in mind that ov baby is combo misc baby is combo arco baby is combo there's so many different hands that you guys can open that just gives you essentially full combo so that's why you really just want to play the main necessary ones and giant rex is the only i guess brick in the deck but he's the one that extends your combo so he is needed in that sense now for the engine that completely breaks this deck we are playing of course three scrap raptor one chimera one golem three scrapyard we're playing three scrapyard before we get into the rest i want to tell you guys why we're playing the scrapyard and it's really really important so first thing i want to say is that yes we have fossil dig that searches your scrap raptor right but there are going to be a lot of hands keep in mind a lot of these combos are one to two card combos but of course if you guys have more cards then what ends up happening is you can just keep pushing further and you guys are going to see that we're not playing any draw cards specifically in this deck so the nice thing about scrapyard is one it can search your scrap raptor because if you open scrapyard and fossil dig for example what ends up happening is now you're going to be guaranteed your scrap raptor but you're also going to be guaranteed either a baby ceratosaurus for your combo an ov raptor a misc something like that so that's why scrapyard is really really good it just gives you so much consistency and it makes it so that now if you open fossil dig you don't have to think like okay, do I go for the Scrap Raptor combo? Do I go for a basic Dino combo? This kind of gives you the opportunity and the option to be like, okay, I'm going to have both in my hand and it lets you deck them. Think about it. This is a not once per turn search. So even if you open two of them, you just two, search two Scrap Raptor. Now, yes, don't get me wrong. The second Scrap Raptor is not going to do much in your hand, but it deck thins, right? And that's the best part about it is because when it deck thins your deck, it means that in following turns, one, you'll already have the extra Scrap Raptor so they can continue playing. But two, you're not going to be drawing into this and you can potentially draw into something even better, something like a Conductor Tyranno, something like a devil evolution pill so that's why i really like the scrap yard i know we're playing pretty much nine copies of raptor with this because three fossil dig three yard and three raptor but it's just really the best way to go about it now golem is the one thing that i want to say is maybe maybe you can cut but i've been liking it because it does help you extend a little bit further and to round off the engine we're playing one jet synchron this card breaks the deck literally this card breaks the entire deck because of this card it makes scrap raptor a one card combo that i'm going to talk about in tomorrow's video this is a one card combo now just because of this card and you can cite lock your opponent and end on a baron it's so strong jet synchron coming back off the ban list actually made this deck incredibly powerful so this card is great then we're playing one keystone of course keystone is a great extender but i'm a big fan of this because this and raptor make your nat beast and nat beast is really powerful in today's format but on top of that this if your combos get stopped somewhere you can actually just keystone back your misc that you have used or any of your other banished cards that you've used to special summon this and then sometimes and this has come up for me multiple times where you use the keystone to make an access code talker because you just need that extra material to go into access code or something like that so you can use the keystone so that's why i'm a really big fan of keystone i love this card I, I definitely think you guys should be playing it and lastly the only real true brick in the deck even though like you know it's not the worst if you draw it only because again getting access to halk is so easy in this deck so because of that like even if you draw this you can just set it with the halk and you're still kind of okay but the thing is like this card is technically still the brick like i said though that scythe is still really important to play because scrap raptor is a one card scythe combo and then games two and games three honestly if you know you're going to be going second you can just side this out and it gives you something that's really nice and easy to side out but again you need to be playing these because it's just it's just too powerful in today's format 
So lastly, for the hand trap lineup, we are playing triple Ash Blossom. You have to play triple. Like, I hate that this card is so expensive, but you have to play triple. It's the best hand trap in the format right now. Triple DD Crow. I think this is actually one of the best hand traps in the format as well right now. It hits so many decks. It's so relevant against so many different things. And it's just a power card in so many situations. So I love DD Crow. I like this over Bell, to be honest with you. Now, Bell is a great card too, but I really like this over Bell only because this hits Therion in a sense as well. Because if you see that the Therion set up their graveyard material, what you end up doing is you just DD Crow the graveyard material before for that they can summon the theory on but then also if you, your opponent is playing Despia or something and they go branded in red, you can DD Crow banish the card that they target so they can't resolve the red. There's also times when your opponent will make an Albion or a Lubelion, need the Albaz in the graveyard, and then you DD Crow the Albaz, and then they're kind of stuck. So DD Crow is just such a great card. I, you need to be playing this at three. I think it's one of the best hand traps in the format. Then we're playing triple Imperm. Sword Soul is going to be one of the best decks in the format as well. So Imperm is really good against them. All of these are really good against Sword Soul. So that's why you need to be playing these. I think these are the nine best hand traps in the format. You can argue Valor are really good as well, but again, I just wanted to play nine hand traps i don't want to play more than nine so these are perfect and then lastly this is not technically hand traps but these are anti hand traps and that's three cross out and called by the grave of course you want all your combos to resolve so because of that you do want to be playing these you want to max out on these and there's a lot of times where your opponent will activate something like a called by the grave when you use a misc or something like that you can actually just cross out the call by the grave if you still have this in your deck and then it still lets you play so not only is this good for hand traps it's also good for stuff like called by the grave it's also really good just for generic stuff your opponent might be playing and on top of that in the side deck you can side other cards in that could be potential cross out targets so yeah you want to be playing these of course these are the hand trap kind of lineup and the anti hand trap lineup but this is perfect i'm pretty sure the full deck is 40 cards on the dot i did want to play 41 and i wanted to play the foolish as a 41st card but then i found that we didn't need it that often so uh yeah this is 40 cards on the dot and i think this is perfect so to get into the extra deck here you are playing the hulk and the dagda i know i hate to say it but the hulk and the dagda are very necessary again scrap raptor is a one card combo for this so this is very important we're playing one scrap wyvern one then Karibo, one Secure Gardna. Now you're playing Secure Gardna because there are times where you need to go into Arcosaur into Link Karibo, but you need a pill target in your graveyard. So you use the Link Karibo to go into Secure Gardna. And then this way, now you have uh, Link Karibo in the graveyard that you can use for pill. So this is very important. Scrap Wyvern, of course, we know how important that is. There's so many scrap combos with this. But funny enough, if only you open the Scrap Raptor, you actually don't even go into Scrap Wyvern. You would rather just make this combo going first. But Scrap Wyvern, of course, is still really, really good. Helps you extend. Then you're playing one Pentasteg, of course. This actually just helps you go for game sometimes. You can cut this, really. It's not the most important card, but I've found that there's situations where Conductor alone with this is just game. So that's why I really like playing this card. We're playing one Axis Code, one Apollo, and that's it for the Link Monsters. Now, the thing is, I wanted to cut, and potentially you can cut the Pentasteg for an IP Mascarena because IP Mascarena is very valuable in today's format as well. But uh, I decided that the Pentasteg was just perfectly fine as it is. So that's why I'm just playing the Pent. But if you guys wanted to play IP, you guys can play IP in this slot as well. So yeah, I just wanted to give you guys another option. Then for the Synchros, we're playing one TG Wonder Magician. This is a card that makes the Hell combo live. This card's insane. It also makes it so that your Scythe dodges Imperm because when you summon the Scythe, and they activate Imperm, you can go TG Wonder Magician, which is a quick effect, to use it and the Scythe to go into Baron. And then what ends up happening is now your opponent missed the target because there's no more Scythe target. So this is really, really powerful. And if your opponent goes Imperm on this, it's the same thing because you just quick effect, right? So this card is insanely powerful. Then you're playing one Borolo Savage Dragon. This is really important. One Nat Beast. You can make this in most of your combos. So this card is really great. One Dolka, one Logia, as well as one Gallant Granite. Now you guys might be looking at this extra deck and saying, Spanko, this is only 14 cards. Yes, but there is a 15th card that I just don't have on me right now. So I'm sorry for that. And the 15th card is Baron de Fleur. So Baron is very important in this combo because what ends up happening is you use the TG Wonder Magician and the Scythe to go into a Baron. I just don't have that card. I'm sorry. I'm going to put it up on the screen. It'll be up on the screens for you guys to see. But that card is your 15th card in your extra deck. And so the 15th card needs to be the Baron. Baron is very important for this deck. So that is it for today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy. Now, if you guys are wondering what are all these random pieces in here? Why is the extra deck look the way it does? Trust me, tomorrow's video is actually going to be a Scrap Dino combo video. And let me just tell you, it's crazy. The combos of this deck are absolutely wild. So make sure to stay tuned and make sure to be subscribed so you guys can check out that video coming out tomorrow. And the rest of the week is going to be more post list content. So thank you guys all for watching. I appreciate every single one of you. And with that, Spanko Sano. Peace.